Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the battle for Saiyan supremacy raged on. A super elite that does it, that's it! This planet is history! With Tyrone and Vegeta readying their final attacks, who will prevail? Grab your scouters and witness the epic conclusion right now on Dragon Ball Z! Find out next time on Screen Junkies Abyss Trailers! What is happening, Magnusites? Let's get it on. I actually just bought this the other day. And uh, I was watching it. Uh, I didn't finish it yet. I was watching it. I've, of course, seen it in the theaters. You guys know that, most of you at least. So, I want to watch this and see what they have to say about this. It was a good movie, by the way. Even though it was all 3D, I want you to get back to... I want you to do a whole movie again with the Broly, Super Broly animation, or what would you use in the beginning of the movie, which was fantastic. Fantastic animation in the beginning of that movie. Let's get it. Like, why didn't they just use this animation for the whole thing? I would have loved it. From the studio that brought you Japanese Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And the franchise that launched a billion weebs comes a film <laughs> with as many plot holes, pacing issues, and predictable fights as the anime. But you'll forgive it all because these characters raised you more than your parents. Yep. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super and Superhero. Strap in for a new kind of Dragon Ball movie that takes inspiration from Toriyama's colorful originals, Shintani's excellent work on the previous film, and some of the worst looking games on PlayStation 2. <laughs> to update the visuals for a new generation because the only thing millennials actually killed is 2D animation. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball, the Red Ribbon Army sought the wish-granting Dragon Balls to rule the world. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the Z Fighters assembled to save Earth by squeezing their butt cheeks so hard <laughs> their hair changed color. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> last time on Dragon Ball GT, we don't talk about that one. But last time on Dragon Ball Super, a new group of heroes got added to the mix to the point where you can barely keep track of who's who. Wait a second. Huge main cast of extended family, old villains keep joining the crew. <laughs> None of the physics makes sense. Dragon Ball is Japanese Fast and Furious. They're even obsessed with butts. <laughs> Next time on Dragon oh my Ball God. DLC, <laughs> meet Magenta. He runs Red Ribbon Pharmaceuticals. Forgot about that part. It's a front for a world-conquering army. Like if the Sackler family were less evil, he'll recruit Dr. Hito, a child scientist, and the exact midpoint between Gru and Syndrome. Yeah. The universe's yeah. mightiest heroes, Goku and Vegeta, sidelined by a missed phone call. <laughs> It's up to Piccolo to save Earth from Hito's creations with his ultimate technique, ultimate. hyper child abuse. <laughs> As he trains a freaking three-year-old in deadly combat <laughs> and once again derails Gohan's normal life to go get beat down by androids. But hey, when the only competition for best dad is these two, sometimes showing up is all it takes. <laughs> Piccolo's not the stepfather. He's the father who stepped up. <laughs> After some entertaining warm-ups against Tweedledum and Tweedledork, get ready for the main event against Cell Max, a kaiju yeah, who looks like soft. a creature from the Black Lagoon, ate the creatine from the Gold's gym. He has only one weakness, getting hit on the top of the head really hard. <laughs> Isn't that everyone's weakness? <laughs> to stop him, Piccolo will have to raise the Dragon Ball's power level in order to raise his power level mm. and provoke Gohan into raising his power level before provoking Gohan into raising his power level again <laughs> and raising his power level again. But when Dr. Hito raises his power level and Magenta raises his power uh, level and Cell Max someone give me the count of how many times he said power level. Must raise his power level and Piccolo must once 
again, raise his power level <laughs> so that Gohan can raise his power level so hard, you guys, until everyone changes color and gets new hair That's and right. explodes in a white hot That's form go. and up testosterone. <laughs> this whole franchise is a metaphor for puberty. That's why the theater I saw it in smelled crazy, huh? So push up your glasses with your middle finger, like all the very serious anime mm -hmm. guys do. <laughs> <laughs> and just make up all the rules as you go along. <laughs> because Dragon Ball Super Superhero isn't here to make new friends. It's just a love letter to the fans <laughs> who stuck with it since the Toonami days. <laughs> and an epic scale animated cosmic beatdown never goes out of style. Fight! 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 Man, I should get him go to the gym, huh? Goku's got it. I was waiting for a joke on that. My hero academia, finally relevant. Muso Wayne. Yeah, finally relevant again. Android twins. One of us, one of us, sell out, Peter Pan. You see this bad boy in a silk shirt? You know they mean business. That's my Superman, Dr. Robot Lift. Did I just watch a cat god get an erection? With the juice, the leftovers. Krillin me softly. Do you even lift brawl? And new balls drag race. The fast and the burliest. <laughs> yes, because it literally happens once a year for the past 30 years. You know who didn't get enough screen time in this one? Vegeta. We tracked every scene he's in in the anime to find out all of his battle stats. And most importantly, how many times he stands really high up looking down on people with his arms crossed. It's a lot. <laughs> Click the thumbnail on the right to find out in the latest episode of By the Numbers. Interesting. Vegeta on Dragon Ball Z. By the ocean is the so numbers. salty because everyone... Hmm, I didn't know they had a series I've like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, that animation in the beginning of Dragon Ball Super Super Hero is the shit. That was really good. So I heard the fans loved it a lot. So maybe they'll give us the next movie in that animation. Um, yeah, I just love great animation. It just makes cool moments so much better <laughs> so magnus sites post comments down below let me know what you all thought did you like this movie or not maybe i'll even post my review because uh yeah i think some of you that haven't seen it would like to see it and i will see y'all in the next one make sure you subscribe to screen junkies so you can watch all the honest trailers like i do 10 million subscribers. Whoa.